as we see Valentina Hull putting on her goggles for her bid here today. Third in qualifying, second in the steep sections in qualifying, fifth in the tech stuff, fourth on the park, fast, fast bits. And we know this woman more than capable if she can put that run down that we're all waiting for. I mean, absolutely. And her interview just told us that she's learned a lot over the last few races and she just wants to have fun on her bike. And I think this is a place to have it done a little whip over that double. She's very comfortable on the jumps, although not going for that big double there. But she had a massive crash there in practice, but I'm surprised that she's opted out, but she still finds herself green. So, amazing from Valentina Hull, and that's worth a couple of seconds, really, to go to do that jump, right? Yeah, the thing is, it's a long week. She wants to be consistent and have good points, so maybe she just opted out for it just for today. Yeah. And she just wants to have a smooth, consistent run, and she said in her interview she's she just wants to finish, you know, you know in what? a reasonable place. I get the feeling that whatever Valentina Holt, and she's fastest through the key section then, taking point six out of her in Cabaru. Wow, look at this. But whatever Valentina can do at the moment to make herself feel comfortable, to take the stress out of it, you know, she's got to do it. So that's the right decision for her. I mean, we can all see it. 1.6 up then at split number three. Sorry, Tracy, but this no, is a great no. run. But yeah, you're right. The pressure on her, consuming her a little bit this year, you feel. And of course, you know, injured in the winter, two surgeries, a plate in, a plate out of the ankle. She said she hasn't had enough time riding her bike oh. fast. Oh my goodness, what attack in there for Hull. Wow. You can just see that section where Nina crosses <laughs> such a huge hole off that drop and it just flings you out the other side. Tight line inside the tree for Valentina. 3.18 then. And I think Hull is going to be faster here by quite a bit, by 4.5 seconds then. So, well, it is a good run from Valentina. Amazing run by Valley. As soon as she decided to ride comfortable in herself, now we're just seeing the valley that we expected to see at the start of the season. Just putting down great runs, great riding style, such good technical skills. Pulling over that big tabletop, no problem. Valentina Hull goes fastest by 5.6. That's an awesome run at 340.2. So just off Miriam Nicole's fastest qualifier. Is this the day that Valentina Hull can win her first World Cup? Only two riders now left at the top. Well, look at this. All going on here in Snowshoe in the USA. Yeah, that was special to see. That was an amazing run. Amazing run by Valley. Really good run. Really good to see. That should give us some confidence. Of course, she gets to go again on Saturday as well, but that could be enough today. Although there's two very, very fast women left at the top. That big rock flicking out behind her. Yes. She got her bike set up right. You can see her bike isn't too soft in the rocks, but it was also not too gnarly in the jumps. The interesting thing is that she skipped that jump, but she's only lost a tiny bit of time in that section. You can see there two and three where it goes yellow. That's probably where the jump is. And she stayed consistently green the whole way. So that was an amazing run. She should be very happy with that. And it's good to see Valley really finding her feet, but man, she put her head down to sprint along this section and made up even a little bit more time. And what this result actually for Valentina does mean that she, the overall will now go to Saturday. So, so just eight riders left to go. And now it's the 2020 World Champion, Reese Wilson, eighth in qualifying, but more interestingly, he was third at split number three on this track. So some issues right in the last sector. But the Man. pace looks like it's back for Reese. Totally. Again, sitting down, tucking his legs in. So every single thing you can think of to gain speed, these riders do. Eighth in Lenzerheide. Of course, can't forget that massive crash in Leger, the flying Scotsman. Oh, and he's up by over a second! Wow, look at this from Reese Wilson! Oh, well, Bruni's time is in jeopardy then! And comes high into there! Man, he was looking at this rock section forever. Slides, goes way wider inside. He's gonna try to get high. The back wheel, fighting for traction back across that camber. Bruni the fastest in this section. Takes that high line like Charlie did, maybe working. Oh, together! <laughs> 
Loses nothing to Bruni through there. Could still be green at the next split. Did he go deep there? This is what it all comes down to. And he's still up, but he's lost around half a second then, Reese Wilson. Oh. Hopping, working the bike. Different line there. Went low. I know he was saying this is the most physical track. You're just here and you're just like, oh my goodness, get me out of the trees. Oh, and here we go. He's going to go around the back of that tree. That's interesting. You can see that pedal, that rock there with all the white on top of it. There's people's clad pedals on it. Oh, a little bit high. The yeah, gear. it was a big gear, huh? That might cost him some time then. Yes, he's like dropped back to third. Oh, wow, look at that. Losing a second between splits three and four. That's interesting. Yeah. He can still make it back up here, though. He could. It's a tall order, but it's only half a second. I wonder if that low line we saw him take around that tree didn't work. I believe Dakota Norton also using that line. A little bit further up, actually, not on the exit. Oh, my goodness! How did Reese Wilson <laughs> pull back a second? Pull back that time! Let's go! Oh, man, you said he could pull it back. I was like, man, it's all over. <laughs> I told you, it can happen anywhere. That's it unreal. Doesn't, like, it's not about what section you can, like, it's, you can do it anywhere. That's unbelievable. Wait, oh, three. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Reese Wilson back on top. A phenomenal Rudy run from the Scotsman. Finally. He's waited all season for that kind Look of speed that, to come even, back. Even or ahead. The whole time. Just the top of the top of the track he just killed. And then even with Loic on that on that, you know, sector. Segment seven, eight, nine, and then point four in the final, this final section. But man, again, just looking at the body position, using his hips to steer, looking where he wants to go.